Lucas Media. So rumors was coming out that Skip Bayless was leaving the FS1. Watch Marcellus Wiley show last night. He talked about it. Today was supposed to be Skip Bayless' last day. So, you know, it's the show or whatever. Then afterward, Skip puts, today was my last show on Undisputed, as y'all can see in the image. I'm leaving FS1. I'm planning on pursue other opportunities for, for several months. I had a great eight-year run with a lot of great people at Fox. So on and so forth, right? Let me start out by saying this. Skip was one of the pioneers. He did take sports debating to a whole nother level. I mean, they had debates back then. And I remember, I remember the best damn sports show. I remember that back in the early 2000s. And they would kind of debate on there a little bit with John Sally. And I believe Stephen A was on there a couple of times. And then I remember they had cold pizza. Cold pizza turned to first and 10. And it was just a segment. But then that got so big, it became a uh, first take. And Skip was really the mastermind behind all of that. Because he had the personality. And he would say things that people would dare wouldn't say. Kyle, I should have been a little uh, bowler and Bosch Spice. And he just, Skip knew how to pull emotions out of people. Somebody said this before on a TYT that like Skip Bayless was, was like the Vince McMahon of sports broadcasting. And he had, to a degree, you know, he had a lot of, he had a lot of fans. He, he had a lot of fans. But what happened is times have changed. You know, the Skip era was really the, the, uh, the baby internet, baby social media area era then when you went at shannon you you really hurt you hurt a lot of people made a lot of people mad hurt a lot of people that even hurt me to watch the way that he talked to shannon you know what i mean this is a three-time super bowl champion hall of famer you can't write the game without him and you insulted that man and just other little things like skip you can tell that skip gets bothered if you really challenge him but i'm sure that's how all of them people is they making millions of dollars on tv i'm sure that you know they got an ego but what i will say is the times have changed you know Marcellus was saying how sports, the athletes are now got their own platforms. And that that's true. But not only them, but us as well. The, the, the fans, the people like me and y'all, the ones who work regular jobs and have regular lives. We have a platform now and now we can speak on it as well. We don't have to be forced to sit at a TV and listen to what Skip and Shannon is saying on these debates. And then it's cookie cutter and certain things that they don't that they can't touch that we can talk about you know the the me the lucas media is the 78s and the dreamers pros and the two raws and so on the ticket tvs like these are things that we it's things that we can talk about that they can't just like how when lebron is wrong we can talk about him but espn wouldn't dare do that fox to a degree wouldn't dare do that and that's also have changed so these people are getting phased out but i think everybody knew once shannon left undisputed wasn't gonna be no more because shannon was keeping the show like if you were if you go back 10 years ago well let me say this if you were if this was 2010 2008 2009 2010 skip would carry that show because skip was a star but then shannon became the bigger star and you know skip had the bigger name but like i said the, the world has changed it changes over and over again just like when i was when i was coming up we had vcrs right and then when dvds came out they were six seven hundred dollars then we went to blu-ray now everybody's streaming. I remember still when you could go get a cassette tape from the music store. When I we had music stores and all the albums drop out, albums drop on on Tuesdays. You down there trying to get your album? When Fifty Cent album came out, when Hard Knock Life came out. But guess what? Now you can do it on iPhones or on phones in general. So times have changed, and you know the the old media, the corporate media, is being phased out. Man, we wanna we wanna be able to talk about what we wanna talk about, and that's just one of the good things of the internet. But I don't know. I won't be surprised if Skip goes online. All of them have to a degree. There was rumors that he might have went back to ESPN. Stephen A. Smith said it's not going to happen. ESPN came out and said it ain't going to happen. So we'll see what's next for Skip. But no, I, I will give him his flowers. He did He did start this as far as like taking it to a whole nother level. But, you know, times have changed. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it and tell me what y'all think.